In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create our first quiz question in Articulate QuizMaker 360. And then in the subsequent tutorials, we're going to learn how to customize the quiz questions using Slide View and then create custom quiz questions uh, using the free form uh, question tool. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, you should have a practice file. So this is the practice quiz file. So there's some uh, pre built examples. So I have a question group called Examples. And inside the practice file, you should also have a starter text file so you can copy and paste the text. So, what we're going to do before we get started is we're going to create a question group. So, you can see right now that I have an examples question group, and I can collapse that. And I'm going to create another question group. So, I'm just going to come up here, and then this will be, we're going to type this in here. We'll just call this um, practice. So, this is where I'm going to put my practice questions. So I've got my question group. I'm going to create my first quiz question. So I'm going to put that in the practice group. So I'm going to click on graded questions. Now when you build a quiz question, you have a few options. One is you can build one from scratch using the built-in question styles. And they're all pretty standard question styles. And you can also come over here and build questions uh, using the templates that are provided with Articulate 360. What's nice about the templates is that they're professionally designed. They look really nice and all you really have to do is change your content. And then you can also change your color scheme so that you can match those things to your brand. So make sure to take advantage of those. For this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to use the multiple choice uh, built-in question. So we're going to insert that. And what we get is this form here. So when you're working in quiz questions, you have two views that you're going to work with. You have the form view, which we see here. And the form is a place where you add your content. So it's a quick way to add your content to the structure. And then you can go into slide view. And slide view is going to give you this free form authoring environment where you can customize the look and feel of the course. For this particular tutorial, we're going to focus mostly on getting your content in form view. We'll do a little bit in slide view. And then in the next tutorial, we'll look at how to customize the quizzes in uh, slide view. So let's go ahead and look at form view. I'm going to use my starter text file that's got all this content in here. So what I want to do is I want to add a question. I want to add my choices, select my correct one, and then I want to add some feedback. So my question is going to be, who processes your expense report? So I'm going to copy that and paste that in here. And then my choices are going to be on that starter file. So I'm going to copy and paste those choices. All right, so I got my choices in here. Now I need to select a correct choice. In this case, I'm going to select the accounts payable clerk. And then you'll notice I have some default feedback. And uh, this will be, it's either right or wrong. And that's going to be feedback by question. What we want to do in this question is we want to give you feedback uh, specific to the choice that you made. So we're going to go to feedback by choice. And now what you can see is I can add my feedback in here. So I'm just going to copy and paste the text that's in the starter text file. And you can see we have our text here. Now if you wanted to click on more, you can add some audio and you can determine how you want to branch it and all of that. But we're not going to worry about that for this tutorial. So I've got my question, I've got my choices, I've got feedback. And now when I look down here, I have my pretty standard looking quiz question, right? So my question and my choices. Now I want to make it look a little bit better. So we're still in form view. I'm going to go up to media and I can add some media. I'm going to insert an image. So we'll go picture from file. And we've got this expense report picture in the practice file. So we're going to use that. And so now I can see in the form that there's the expense report picture. So what you can see down here is the picture on the slide. And so we're using the form so everything's kind of pre-structured for you. Well let's do one other thing. I want to make sure the answers are shuffled. So they're going to shuffle. So this way they're not always going to be in the same order. And I'm going to give you two attempts. As you can see, you can do one through ten or you can do unlimited. I'm just going to give you two attempts uh, to get that right. So let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. So what we can see is out of the box, this is what you get. So we're in the desktop preview mode. You can see I've got my quiz question. I can click on the image. I can zoom in. Now in this case, zooming in on the image doesn't do anything. If this was an image where you had to collect some information to make a decision, then it might make sense. So we're going to turn off that zoom image. I'll show you how to do that. So I've got my question here. 
or I've got my choice. I'm going to submit and I get my feedback. And again, this is incorrect and it's giving me feedback unique to the choice that I made. I'm going to try one more time. Let's try Human Resources Manager. Hit OK and you can see I get my custom feedback. Now one of the things you'll notice is we've got this default player and that comes with the desktop view which we have here. But you can also preview and see what it looks like in a mobile device. So we've got a tablet landscape and portrait option and we have a phone landscape and portrait option. So let's see what it looks like in a tablet. Now you'll notice in the preview for the tablet that we're getting a different player. So this is the mobile player and it's responsive. So it's going to give us the best mobile experience. And then if I look at it in my smartphone, you can see how that would look in smartphone as well. And you can also see that if I have it in portrait mode, it's probably not ideal. That's okay. There's a way to fix that which we'll cover in a different tutorial. Let's go ahead and close. Let's come back to desktop view. So that's where we're going to be back at. And let's close this. And we want to make this look a little bit better. Um, at this point, we're not going to focus a lot on that in the other tutorial. We'll We'll do that when we talk about slide view. But let's go to slide view and look at a few things. So when you're in slide view, one of the things you'll see is that you have a slide that kind of looks like a PowerPoint slide or a storyline slide. And this is a freeform environment so you can click and move things around. You notice you have a timeline. I'm going to collapse this a little bit. So you have a timeline so you can control that. Uh, we'll learn more about that in the other tutorial. In this case, we're just going to do a few things. Uh, one of the things is I don't want this image to zoom in. So when I select the image and I come up to Format, I can turn that off. And so now I can't zoom in. And the other thing is we've got some formatting options here. I'm just going to put a little frame around the image. Let's just choose the white one. So I've got the frame here around the image. I might drop this a little bit. I can change the text size and do all that if I want to. And then one last thing we'll do is we're going to change the color scheme here. So we're going to go to Design and I can roll over and see what these different schemes are. I'm just going to choose this. Um, let's just choose this one that looks a little like grid paper. When I right click on that, you can see I have some options. I'm just going to apply it to the selected slide so it doesn't mess up my other slides. And now I've got something that looks a little bit different. Now this had a style on there so we're going to go back to that image and reformat it and let's put the border around there and let's move it. So you can see I've got something that looks a little bit better. It's not just a plain white and black text. And then I've got a nice simple quiz question. So that's basically it for creating that first quiz question. In the subsequent tutorials, we're actually going to look at how to make the quiz question look nicer uh, using Slide View. So go ahead and practice this and you can play around with some of the features in there. And then if you have any questions, jump in the community and we're more than willing to help you out. And don't forget to watch the other tutorials so you can learn more about working with QuizMaker.